today's project diary, I will give you some helpful information on how to stop your tomatoes from splitting. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. In today's video, I want to talk to you about why your tomatoes are splitting. Now, I'm going to share a little secret with you. Uh, my dad and I have been unofficially having a tomato growing competition this year. And my dad is a well-seasoned uh, grower of many different things. And uh, obviously, I'm a novice. I'm only learning as I go with these projects. Uh, but this year, um, I'm not going to say whose is whose, <laughs> but this one uh, has been grown with uh, multi-purpose compost bought from a store and with commercial fertilizers and feeds. And this one, even though it's a little bit smaller, this is completely organic. Uh, it's been grown with homemade compost and uh, seeded from uh, food waste. Now these are both exactly the same uh, variety of tomatoes but one is having a severe problem. Now this is actually a, phy a physiological problem. Uh, this means it's nothing to do with any diseases or pests. This is to do with the nature that the tomato is actually growing. And you'll find this will actually happen at this time of year when you've gone all the way through the growing process, you've nurtured your plants to a really good height, your tomatoes are going green, turning sort of pink, and then going to the red stage. Now you'll find this may happen. Now the problem is, it's just basically down to two things. One is uh, rapid temperature change. Now as you know, we've been, we've been having terrible weather here. It's either been really uh, humid during the day and it's been raining uh, in the evenings, or vice versa. And that is basically a breeding ground for this problem. Um, so what happens is, if you're not regularly watering your plants, and sometimes, you know, if it rains really hard, they get saturated and then you have a few really nice sunny days, which is exactly what we've, we've been getting. Um, the tomato skin can't expand uh, quick enough. So what it is, is the, say the, the, uh, the plant itself is becoming really thirsty and then when it rains, it sucks up as much water as possible. Uh, and that's all within the inside. That's why a tomato is really juicy. Um, but the skin's slightly tougher so basically it becomes dehydrated and shriveled and then it soaks up all the water and it becomes bigger on the inside and that's why the skin starts splitting. Now once you have this problem uh, it will then start opening your tomatoes up to diseases. Um, now I've already covered uh, blossom end rot in another video, this isn't that, but it may cause other pests to come in, um, tomato hornworms and other sort of fungal uh, bacterias um, such as grey mould. Now once this splitting has occurred, it's really hard to even cope with the, the problems because it's a, a nature issue. Uh, now the only way that I think you can um, try and prevent this is to mulch your tomato plants. Now you can use a bark or um, anything that you've got that's going to keep in the moisture and keep in the temperature to the roots. Uh, and if you know it's going to be a cold evenings or cold days, you want to move your tomato plants, if you can, if you're growing them in containers, uh, to a warmer part of the garden that gets at least five hours sunlight a day. Um, if it's getting the shade early, this is going to cause damp situations during the evening or day, and that's, that's then going to open you up to sort of powdery mildew and other kind of bacteria and uh, fungal diseases. So hopefully today has been a good, vi a good video for you to, to know exactly why your tomatoes are splitting. Like I say, the end of summer when everything's coming to harvest is exactly when this is going to happen. So try to keep that watering under control. Try to keep the temperatures the best way that you can. Either bring them in a, a, a greenhouse or just try to keep that soil temperature as regulated as possible. And hopefully you won't have this problem that either me or my dad have been having this year. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my other videos. And if you've tried this or any other project, I'd love to see your progress. So please join my Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are posting photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.